The era of era on Notre Dame, and it arrives with rain and 50 mile per hour gusts in Madison, Wisconsin. For the first time in history, the Fighting Irish have a head coach who is not an alumnus. Eric Parsegian is his name, and alumni everywhere are expecting the Irish to regain national football prestige under the former Northwestern coaching game opponent is the always tough Badgers from Wisconsin. Parsegian's prospects for the 1964 season are loaded with ifs. The biggest of these is senior quarterback John Hewitt, who's been suffering from a shoulder injury that has impaired his passing. If Hewitt is right, look for versatile Jack Snow to be his top target. All fears of Hewitt's passing effectiveness are dispelled in the opening period as John gets the Irish rolling by passing to Jack Snow for 37 yards. Again, Hewitt hustles back to pass, and again his receiver is Jack Snow as the Irish move to the Wisconsin 21. The Badgers brace, but Notre Dame calls on its kicking specialist, Ken Ivan, and the Irish tack three points on the board after one period. In the second quarter, the Badgers of Milt Brune build an offense around the passing of Southpaw quarterback Harold Bratt. Bratt connects with Ralph Farmer for a 17-yard gainer. Harold Bratt, who guided Wisconsin to a victory over Kansas State last week, passes to Ron Smith, and the Badgers are on the Irish 38. Bratt is piercing the Notre Dame secondary with his Southpaw passes, and Ron Smith has this one for 17 yards as the Badgers move to the Irish 12. Wisconsin is moving in on the Irish goal, but Notre Dame's 3-0 lead is preserved as Ken McGlissick stalks Harold Bratt and trips him up for a nine-yard loss on fourth down. The Irish take over and how? On a draw play, halfback Bill Walski drives to the near sideline for a 16-yard gain. John Hewitt's shoulder injury doesn't seem to bother him on this play. Hewitt waits for Jack Snow to get clear and hits him on an electrifying 61-yard touchdown play that has Irish rooters delirious. It's Notre Dame 10, Wisconsin nothing. Later in the period, Hewitt leads Notre Dame on another offensive march. John gets the pass to Nick Eddy, and it's good for 14 yards. Stewart has found the Badger secondary to his liking, and again he passes. Jack Snow has it as the green and gold get to the Wisconsin 15. The Badgers are being battered by Hewitt and Snow. This pass catch is good for a first down. On third down, and with 18 seconds to intermission, Notre Dame elects to go for a field goal. Ivan's placement is perfect, and it's 13 to nothing halftime. Wisconsin comes out for the second half like an entirely new team. On the first play from scrimmage, Harold Brad passes to Ralph Farmer for 16. Brad has the hot left hand. Once again, he sears the Irish by passing complete to Ron Smith for 16. Notre Dame blitzes in a bold attempt to muzzle Brad and his passes, but Harold slips out of the trap and tosses goalward. Jimmy Jones is past his man and takes the pass for a 45-yard touchdown. The Badgers break their scoring drought, but still trail 13-7. Late in the period, a poor Wisconsin punt gives Notre Dame possession on the Badger 29. Hewitt rolls to his right and then passes back to the left. Phil Sheridan is there, and he's got blockers. Sheridan gets 23 yards before the Badgers can bag him. Fullback Joe Cantor opens the final quarter with a trip into pay dirt as the Irish go into a 19-7 lead. <laughs> Notre Dame back on the attack, and once again, it's the Hewitt to Snow combination wrecking Wisconsin. This play is good for a first down. The Badger defense has been taking a terrific beating, and Bill Walski gets in a few licks with a smash to the three-yard line. Walski puts six more on the board as he drives into the end zone for another Irish touchdown. The score is Notre Dame 25, Wisconsin 7. Coming into this contest, Wisconsin ruled a slight favorite, but not until late in the game do they play their role. Brant spears Jimmy Jones on a 23-yard play. 
Brandt drops back into the pocket on the next play, and again he passes upfield. Dave Neubauer takes it for an 18-yard gainer as the Badgers build some momentum. But the Wisconsin steam fizzles into futility on this play. Harold Brandt's pass is intercepted by Ken Ivan, who returns for 22 yards as the Irish can do no wrong in their 1964 opener. Notre Dame coach Eric Parsegian has come up with a pass-catch combination that's likely to make headlines. John Hewitt lays it on the line to Jack Snow, and the Irish close their scoring parade with a 42-yard touchdown. The final score is Notre Dame 31, Wisconsin 7. The impressive triumph is a tribute to new head coach Eric Parsegian, and this victory may indicate Notre Dame is back on the road to national prestige.